So today I'm going to show you how you can install Windows 11 on any PC when using a UEFI USB stick. Now this probably works on most Gen 3, Gen 4 Intel chips, I haven't tried anything earlier than that. You get to this rejection screen, what you want to press is left shift and F10. Once you've done that, then you want to type in regedit into the command prompt. That will open up a new screen and here you want to tr click on H key local machine and then system and then finally you want to type click on setup once you click setup then what you have to do is right click on it and then go to new and then click key when you do that you want to rename that folder lab config exactly how i've written it there and then once that's done you want to go to new and then you want to add a new d word to that folder. Once that's added, these files are now case sensitive, so you have to put them in exactly how I've entered them here. First one you want to put in is bypass TP TPM check. Next, you want to do the same thing again new D word and then type in bypass. RAM check and please be aware it's case sensitive. Finally go to D word again and type in bypass secure boot check exactly how I've written it there again and then once that's done you want to right click on all of those just before we get on to the next step of the video, I just want to mention if you can like and subscribe, it would really help me out on my channel. So you want to click modify, type in a one into that cell, and you want to do that for all the other files or D words that you've added into this folder as well. Once that's done, then you're pretty much good to go. Close, and in the command prompt, just type in exit. That will close down the command prompt. And then from this screen, what you want to do is press the back button. Choose the Windows 11 install that you wish to install and then press next. Now it will start doing its checks and you'll see that it's now worked and it's allowing you to go to the next step to install Windows 11, however you wish to install it. Now doing this from a Windows 10 system, you can download the Windows compatibility checker. I've also tried to do it with a USB stick and using the setup button in there. However, it didn't work for me for some reason. And I think to be honest, you're probably better off doing it a clean install with the UEFI USB stick anyway. So good luck doing that and I'll see you in the next video.